guys, welcome back to Warframe. We're here to do the War Within story mission. Now to do that we need to unlock the Pluto Sedna Junction. And to get to Pluto Sedna Junction we need to unlock the Pluto Junction. And to do that we need to complete three Neptune missions, spy missions with a clean data extraction down here on Nerid. So we'll do that today. Your mission is to break into enemy data vaults and steal any intelligence files you find. Watch for security systems. So to get three uh, clean data extractions we have to make sure we don't set off any alarms uh, when we do the, the three data vault unlocks. So I can show you how to uh, unlock each vault um, without triggering any alarms. We're heading into the first one now. Tenno, be on the lookout for increased security measures. So you just want to make sure that nobody's following you. If the enemies follow you in, they'll trigger the alarms. If you trigger the alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. You can see here we've got these laser grids that we need to get past. So I jump across to this little hidey hole here. And move forward. Oops, don't do that. <laughs> okay, now we want to jump across to this little hole here and shoot out the ceiling scanner. In this room here you can turn off the lasers. Then it's easy access to go and unlock the vault. Now, careful not to run straight into this room because there's a ceiling scanner there. So when it moves left like that, you can uh, shoot it out. And then unlock the vault. Excellent work. A clean extraction with no alarms. Now just go back out the way I came in. So let's head over to vault B. doesn't really matter if I trigger the alarms when I'm outside, as long as I don't do it inside the vault. Okay, we're heading into Vault B now. Don't you touch that alarm. Alright, let's just make sure no one's following us. Yep, looks okay. Okay, so we shoot out the ceiling scanner. And wait for these laser beams to go down and then jump diagonally into this uh, column here. Just walk under that one. And then here we can just do a, a wall run across and then a double jump. There's a button there to turn off those lasers that you've just gone through, not sure why. Walk under that one. And this one you wait for it to go down and jump across the top of it and do a wall run. And then sometimes there's a laser beam here but there's nothing here at the moment so we'll just walk through. Unlock the room. Now you can craft the uh, ciphers and use the ciphers to unlock these doors don't need to but um, it does make it a bit easier. Normally uh, solving these ones I work around the outside first and then do the inside one. They won't even know it's gone. Seems to work most of the time. Go back the way we came. Get 
across to Vault C. up for the party. Yeah, we've got everybody here. <laughs> to Vault C. That'll be our rickety lift. Really need to talk to their maintenance guys. Okay, so this is the third one. We're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now and they will start destroying the data. Okay, so this one's got the floor lasers, so we need to turn those off first. Very important. Otherwise you trigger the alarm when you walk in the room. Shoot the ceiling scanners. ceiling scanners. So there's two two here, one on the ceiling and one above it. Now there is an alternate way to solve this room so I might show you that at the end. So shoot out these two ceiling scanners again. And then we should be good to go in and unlock the vault. Okay. I won't even know Let's it's go gone. back the way I came in. We have everything we came for. Get to extraction. Back down the awesome elevator. Corpus walkers are heading to your location. Head straight to the extraction point. So let me show you another room that uh, can occur as well. A slightly different configuration. The target console is nearby. If you trigger the alarms now. The enemy will start destroying data. So there's a ceiling laser here. Ceiling scan. You work your way around the outside of it. Another ceiling scanner here on the left. Gonna shoot that out. You just wait for these laser beams to turn off and skip through. There we go. And this unlocks the room. And there's nothing else in this room. It's all good. And unlock the vault. Excellent work. A clean extraction with no alarms. Okay. And back out. Now I'll show you the uh, alternate way to, to get past that uh, room with the floor lasers. 
here's another way of doing it. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now and they will start destroying the data. So we turn the floor lasers off first. Most important. Okay, so you can go up through this vent if it's open. And go up onto the top and just walk along the ceiling. Remember to shoot out the uh, security cameras. And bullet jump across. There's also a security camera in the next room. Shoot that out. And there's one below, so just check which direction it's in. And jump off the other side. Shoot that one out, and you're good. Data extracted. They won't even know it's gone. And that's it guys for the uh, Nereid uh, spy missions. So now that that's done I can go and unlock the Pluto Junction. So I've completed all the steps. I'll just go in there and unlock that before I leave. Okay, so we've got the Excalibur Warframe here. I'm just going to melee him and some heavy attacks using the middle, middle mouse button. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's dead. That was quick. Okay, I'll unlock this. Leo's just jumping and hitting the middle mouse button to do the heavy attacks. Took him out pretty quick using the broken wall. Okay, I got Chroma Systems Blueprint and the Dragoon kind of a shotgun. And that's it guys. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and click like if you enjoyed the video and click subscribe if you want to see more in the story mission series. And we'll see you next time.